back at it again and as i was putting videos together for today which is another reason why I, I would love to have an assistant um but anyway as i was putting videos together today i came across this clip uh from jesse waters right and um i'm not gonna tell you the video that i was putting together but because I, I, I'll probably uh, record it and upload it tomorrow. So you guys will probably see that video tomorrow instead of today. Because um, this this clip is going to take that, that one's place. But I came across this clip from Jesse Waters. And I couldn't help but to say, no, I, I have to show you guys this video. Because Jesse Waters did a great job. I will admit, he did a fantastic job with this video. Um, so we're going to be diving into uh, this biden versus hispanics clip with jesse waters because um yeah i think it's time we discuss it i've talked about uh black folks leaving the democrat party i guess it's time for the latino brothers and sisters like share comment and hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's dive in biden's in trouble with hispanics and it's going to cost him the election so he flew to a Mexican restaurant in Phoenix, but got distracted by a baby. We have made so much progress together, but we know that there is still work to be done. And we know that, you know, there's so much at stake and that Donald Trump continues to pose a threat. Well, folks, I have to tell you straight up, I like you all, but I couldn't resist that little baby. <laughs> Biden likes babies for the smell, we know. Then Biden started begging. You're the reason why, in large part, I beat Donald Trump. I need you. I need you badly. I need the help. Kamala and I desperately need your help. Joe needs Latinos, but do Latinos need Joe? No. Wages and housing are down. Inflation and crime are up. Plus, the hole Joe blew in the border is a slap in the face to Hispanics who waited in line. Biden's ignored them, made their lives worse, and panders like Speedy Gonzalez. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> All right. Biden wanted to swing bats at a Trump pinata, but was talked out of it by Jill, the first ever first lady to call Hispanics tacos. So sad. Biden didn't tell Hispanics what he'd done for them. He told them the other guy called you rapists. It's an election between me and a guy named Trump. <laughs> and uh, and uh, this is a guy who, uh, who's, the way he talks about the Latino community is, uh, well, in 2016, he called Latinos criminal drug dealers and rapists when he came down that escalator. This dirty. Uh, how about MS-13? Try again. The defamation's cliche, sloppy, doesn't stick. The election isn't about identity and insults. It's about action and results. Spanish Democrats aren't even delivering. AOC's Queens district's in shambles thanks to the migrant crisis. Trash, illegal street vendors, hookers litter the block. And her constituents feel swindled. She is never here. I was a volunteer for her. She completely abandoned our community. She said she only cares about Washington and her money. She said nobody loves her here anymore. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Now, to uh, that young lady there. To her, I say, join the right side of things. I mean, it, it, it was only expected that a Democrat would use folks for votes. That's expected. Look at what Joe Biden is currently doing. When's the last time you saw Joe Biden at a Mexican restaurant? <laughs> like, let's be real here. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> When's the last time you saw Joe Biden in a Mexican restaurant or sitting down with a black family? When's the last time? Yeah, exactly. He only does it during election time. 
That's it. That is Democrats. They only show up when it's election time. That is the only time they show up. That's when they show up and start trying to pander. Oh, please, I need your votes. I love you guys so much. You know what I mean? Please, please show up for me. I'm, I'm going to do this, this, and that for you. I mean, you know what I mean? Do, 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 do. When are we going to stop pulling up to the restaurant that blames other restaurants and everybody else for not delivering? Would you keep pulling up to a restaurant that you ordered your food, you paid for your food, you, 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 and then you got no service? Would you keep going back to that same restaurant? They said, oh, well, the other restaurant down the block, um, it's, it's, it's their fault. It's their fault. Would you keep pulling up to that restaurant? No. No. Me, personally, I'm going to go to the other restaurant that's down the block that they keep blaming. Because if it is they fault, maybe they got something going over there. Let me let me go see what they got going. Oh, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pay. Oh, I got my order this time? Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep coming back to this restaurant. That, that's the Republican Party, the restaurant that actually delivers. Y'all keep going back to, 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 to these folks who ain't delivering anything. And you just heard her say it herself. Abandon her. She worked for AOC, and she was abandoned. I mean, it, if that don't tell you everything you need to know, then I, I don't know what will. Ella no abandonó. She abandoned us. Our neighborhoods were invaded and Democrats tie ICE agents' hands. Bill Malugin did a ride-along in L.A. Watch. To the sanctuary policies, unfortunately, our detainers are not being honored. It is frustrating. Do you guys have any presence at the jail whatsoever? No. And ICE blames those sanctuary policies for having to arrest this third felon of the day. He was previously convicted of trafficking meth and being a felon in possession of a gun. And ICE says he was released without notice after local authorities ignored their request to hold him. Sanctuary policy? Sanctuary policy, detainer not honored. Joe's bleeding Hispanics. Some would call it a bloodbath. They hate how he handles every issue. 70% of Hispanics hate Biden's immigration policy. They hate his economic policy. They're just like us. And that's the point. We all want the same things that Joe can't deliver. And that's the thing. That's one of the things that I, I've grown to learn over time through, you know, obviously making these videos and coming across different clips and, and seeing some polls. You know, our Latino brothers and sisters hate this open border just as much as we do. And some of them hate it even more because some of them legally came here from some of the places that these people are coming from. And they came here because of the people that they're allowing to come across. Some of the folks, I got to say some before somebody twists my words, they came here because of some of the folks that they're allowing to cross the border. Now they're like, bro, some of them folks, bro, those are some bad people. I left my country because of them. And now you're allowing them to come into this country where I ran to, where I legally went through the proper steps and, 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 and paid the money and everything to get here, and now you're just allowing them to just walk across? First off, you're just allowing them to just walk across? And second, these some bad folks. I know these people. I used to see these folks. That's why I left. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've seen, and maybe I'll make a compilation video on... Uh, those folks saying those things like, yo, I, I, I know some of these people. I know them. <laughs> They're why I left. And now you're allowing to come, allow, allowing them to come here. This is crazy. Um, so, hey, listen, they hate it just as much as we do, just as just as much as everybody else. And I, I, I guess the Biden administration must think that they love it or something. And they don't. They don't. They got families, too, that live here. Crime is crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, crime can affect anybody. Black, white, blue, or purple, tall, short, fat, skinny, it don't matter. Crime can affect anybody. They understand that. They understand that. Trump's pitch is simple. Hispanics, very entrepreneurial people. Yeah. They like me. I like them. I mean, I'm leading yeah. all facts. along Texas and the Texas. And kind of family values as well, perhaps quite I important. I think there's family values. Christianity quite important all, for that community. I think so. All of the things. Look, we're doing yep. so well. Nobody's ever done well with the Hispanics like I've done. Opening up the border to criminals and leeches drives Hispanics and everybody else crazy. 
Here's the Venezuelan welfare king gobbling up handouts and hacking the system. A todas esas mujeres. To all those women that find themselves pregnant and are in Latin America, please come have your baby in the United States. And if you get married, you'll get more back in taxes. And, well, if you have five or six children, can you imagine? My daughter is American and she gave me citizenship. She pays our rent. She pays our bills. She gives us $1,500 a month since she was born. I have six months in the USA and I have everything you don't have. Citizenship, residency, a good car, and a good apartment. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. The Venezuelan welfare king encouraging illegals to invade American homes and squat. My people, I have thought about invading a house in the United States because I learned there's a law that says if a house is not inhabited, we can expropriate it. I think that will be my next business, invade abandoned houses. Biden's letting migrants break into the country and then break into your bedroom. And a judge just ruled. Absolutely insane stuff, man. Absolutely insane stuff. And you, you just saw two examples of it. Guy comes here, has a kid, and I didn't even know that that was a thing. Like, if you have a kid, then you're automatically granted citizenship. Was he mistaken? I, I know the kid is granted citizenship for being born here, which I think that should change as well. Just because you're born here doesn't mean you're a citizen. Um, we may, you know, help you out with the delivery and whatnot. I don't agree with just like leaving it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, you're not from here. Have the kid out on the street. You know, hey, uh, I don't agree with that. But we're going to send you back home, you know, when you leave the hospital. Right. <laughs> you go back to where you came from. Go on about your business. OK. Um, that's just the way that I see it. Y'all can let me know if you agree. I, 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 I don't like that whole idea because then that you, you could exploit that, you know? Oh, I'm just going to cross the border, have this kid, and, oh, well, citizenship. Like, come on now. Like, I feel like that's a little cheap. Um, not, like, cheap in terms of monetary, but, you know, like, you're scamming the system, right? Um, but, yeah, let me know. Is, is that true? Like, he garnered citizenship because of that? Like, that's just wild. That's just wild. Um, and this whole, we just going to dump money on you because you have a kid, like that whole system needs to change. Because I pers personally, and I I've spoken about this. I've spoken about this. I I've made it no secret. I personally have seen people um, work that system. And it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Um, that needs to be cleaned up. That needs to be cleaned up. That That whole system needs to be, not gutted completely, but that it, it needs to be gutted, okay? It needs to be gutted. A, a, a lot of that bloat needs to be taken out so we don't have situations like that where you got a guy, oh, well, I, I'm living better than you. And it's not about him bragging, but still, if you're not going to be a productive American citizen, you don't deserve to have any benefits. That's just the way that I see it. If you ain't working 40 hours a week, you get zero assistance unless you're actually disabled. Now, of course, if you're legally disabled, of course, there are a few exceptions, right? But for the most part, you're not just about you're not just about to be just sitting at home collecting a check <laughs> just because you had a kid. Like, no, get your butt up, go work forty hours a week somewhere. I don't care where you work at, you know. But you about to go work forty hours a week, if not plus, right? we can get into that discussion um before you get any type of benefits now maybe that is the case y'all can let me know or maybe there's some type of loophole that people could do to get around that part of the equation i don't know y'all y'all let me know and then this whole uh i actually saw a video of a uh lady who owned a home that was being squatted in and uh she went there to get the person out of the home that she owned and the police arrested her and forced her to give the keys to the squatter. That is absolutely insane. That should not be possible. You broke into this lady's house. And now you have the rights to her home until she takes you to court. Like, no, get out my house. Like, what? <laughs> now, apparently the house was empty. Okay. When they, when the person allegedly, I got to say allegedly, went in there 
which is how I believe that whole thing works. If a house is empty, they're allowed to take residents in there and in order for them to be taken out, they have to be taken to court, which obviously that could take some time, months. I've even heard a year, right? <clears throat> so that's absolutely bogus. I don't think that should be happening. But of course, this is Joe Biden's America, so I shouldn't be too shocked by some of this stuff. The legals can own guns. Well, as Jill Biden calls them, fully loaded tacos. Former Huntington Beach mayor and UFC world champ Tito Ortiz joins me now. Tito, what do you think of the Biden pitch to Hispanics? <sighs> Pandering at its worst. It's uh, pretty embarrassing what they're trying to do. Uh, I've watched this over the last uh, three and a half years, and it's just how much more can our country take before people stand up? And on all the Latino friends that I have, everybody that has been waiting in line to get across the border, it's no longer Mexicans that are trying to get across the border. It's everybody from every other country. And it's just, I feel bad for our country right now. People need to stand up and make their vote be heard. If their votes aren't gonna be heard, I, I don't know what's gonna happen next for our country. And it's really hard for me because being a blue collared man with uh, three boys and the future of them, I got to make sure I stand up and let my voice be heard. That's why I'm on here with you, Jesse, and thank you for letting me to be on with you tonight. Of course, Tito. We'll always welcome on Jesse Waters Primetime. You just heard President Donald Trump, former president, spell out the entrepreneurial pitch. I'm a businessman. I was good for business in my four years. Is that sticking? Well, you know, I think it really comes down to the things that when I lived in Huntington Beach, California, I had five businesses. And you got to understand, I've known Donald Trump since 2000. I fought his casino at the Trump Taj Mahal. I worked on the Celebrity Apprentice with him. And to see what type of businessman he was, what type of father he was, what type of patriot he is for this country, for a billionaire to step up for this country and willing to risk everything to protect this country, my hat's off to him. And I will support him till he's no longer around. And that's the way I feel. But I think there's a lot of Latinos yeah. that feel the same way because they come to this country to make sure that we have our faith, we have our family, and we have our freedoms. These are the things that this country that cannot lose. If we lose that, there's no turning back. And people need to understand that now, this is our time to take back America, because we cannot lose it for the future of our children, for yeah. all the future of everybody that does want to come across the border legally. Because it's, once again, it's not just Mexicans that are coming across the border. People don't understand that. There's children trafficking, there's drugs that are coming across. All the cartel are doing the things that America people don't like. And you can see all across the border in Texas, Arizona, California, it's, it's just, it's shambles of what the border control, excuse me, the border patrol can't take care of. And it's because of the uh, legislative and the policies that the Biden regime is doing right now. And it's sad for this country. And I hope people listen to me as a blue collared man that has to re come, relocate here in Florida, open my own business, Tito's Cantina, Tequila Bar and Grill, here in Cape Coral, to redo the American dream because I lost everything after 2020. And it's hard for me because I'm still trying to take care of my children as a blue collar man. So for me, speaking to the public, speaking to everybody here on Fox News and Jesse Waters, thank you very much for having me on here. But at the same time, people, we need to come together. We need to make sure that we make America great again because it's very, very important. Biden's in trouble. Yes, well said. Well said. Couldn't have said it better, any better myself man shout out to jesse waters shout out to jesse waters uh when i like i said when i came across this um clip i was like man I, I have to share it with these guys i have to share it absolutely have to share it and um i'll save the video that i was putting together for tomorrow so stay tuned for that you guys are definitely not gonna want to miss it all right but um yeah man it, it, this, this stuff is just absolutely insane what this biden administration is doing to america it's 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 literally like they're trying to burn it down on the way out and i said this before like it, it feels like uh you know they're like an angry tenant that is being evicted from you know uh the place that they were staying in or uh an angry renter who's being kicked out of a rental property Right. And they destroy the property before they leave. We, we've all seen those types of videos where renters will, you know, yank the cabinets off the walls and, you know, bust up toilet. And uh, I've even seen one where a guy put cement. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I, 
the 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 lengths that people will go to is just absolutely insane. The guy poured cement down the drain of the property. Yeah, cement. <laughs> Holy, uh, I'm sure that bill was insane. Uh, but anyway, it almost feels like that's the kind of thing that's going on, right? Uh, and they're trying to cover up for it and masquerade and say that, oh no, we're, we're helping, we're helping, right? It's like they're, they're, they're throwing the rocks and hiding their hands once the rock hits the glass and breaks it, right? Huh, throw the rock at the glass. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like, what, what's going on? You know, <laughs> it's almost like that even, you know, I like this, this stuff is just, and the fact that some people can't see it, it's just crazy to me, you know, even though I used to be one of those individuals, still at the same time, like, I think if I would have been sat down and been shown these video clips, like, the light bulb would have clicked on, obviously it did, <laughs> right, you guys have witnessed the journey, I sat down here trying to seek the truth and, um, here I am. Look at me now. Right. Um, it's just wild. It's just wild to watch so many people uh, still lost in the smoke screen. Now, granted, there's a whole lot more people that have walked out of the smoke screen and uh, are clear of it. But there's just so many people that are still lost. In it, and I just wonder, like, how? How? How do you see this around you and still say, I'm going to still vote for the individuals that brought me in this country to this place. The psychology of that, I, I mean, it's just mind boggling. I, 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 I literally cannot wait until Trump is president and then we have someone like maybe Vivek or something in 2028. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a name, right? Or Byron Donalds. I love Byron Donalds as president. Um, that guy's good. <laughs> Could you imagine Byron Donalds as president? Because Byron Donalds don't take no, he don't take no BS. Like, he, he, he gonna dish it back at you. <laughs> and he's not a little fella either. So you're not, you, you're not gonna physically bully him. And no, nor are you gonna verbally bully him. You know what I'm saying? So, oh man. Hey, I might, I might start petitioning for Byron Donalds 2028. What do y'all think? Let me know. But I can't wait until, you know, we have Trump and we have somebody like Byron Donalds and then somebody else, Right. And in, in years from now, we, we have this look back during this time period and someone, you know, who, who's well versed in the psychology of it all, you know, does this whole book or this whole story on the psychology of what was all happening with these Democrat voters who just refused or just couldn't see the truth. It's, it's, it's just wild stuff, man. It really is. It really is. I, I, I I, I want to understand it. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm seriously curious about all of it. Uh, so so if we have any uh, psychology majors, anybody who's well versed in it, man, break it down for your boy, please. <laughs> okay, break it down for me. But anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.